Hi, and welcome to this EC365 Managing webinar. I'm joined here with Morten. Hi there. Hi, Morten. Thanks for joining. Thanks for having me again, Jonas. No problem. I have heard something about there's a new version of EC365 Manager coming out shortly. What What is that all about? Uh, we have a new version, uh, EC365 Manager version 1.7, coming uh, mid-December. We already have a pre-release out, and uh, what goes on in that one is that we have uh, support for the management of the automatic replies settings of a mailbox. Okay, the automatic reply settings of a mailbox. That is something, something a user normally would do, right? From Outlook, I guess? That's right. Uh, normally, if the user is uh, planning to, you know, prolonged weekend or going on a holiday, uh, the user would go and and configure the uh, automatic replies for uh, uh, the upcoming dates. That's right. Okay. And and how does this look for from a user's perspective? Can you show me that? I can show you that. Let's let's go and have a look. I have an Outlook client here. Uh, it's uh, Amanda Grace. Um, mailbox that we are looking at and uh, if you go from the mailbox and you click on file then you have the automatic replies or the out of office settings. If you click on that uh, you get this uh, interface where you have the ability to enable automatic replies. You can set a schedule so if you want the automatic reply to be running from Monday next week until Wednesday because the user is going on a course or something then you can configure that. You have the ability to configure a message to uh, people inside your organization and then for external senders you can configure another message if you want to and then also you have the ability to manage the scope of external senders so you can entirely disable sending a reply to external senders or you can limit it to uh, the people in your in your contact book or to anyone. Mm, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. So this is something the user normally would do. Um, but in, in the company that I work, uh, sometimes users forget that. So when they already are off to a vacation, then, then they, they forget to set this uh, out of office reply. And then they sometimes call the help desk to help them uh, to set that reply as well. Right. So that's where the help desk... Uh starts uh, coming into play. Uh, if mm. you receive a call from a user that they want you to go and, and set up an automatic reply, uh, then you need to go to the Exchange Admin Center, you need to go to Mailboxes, you need to search out the, the, the user that you want to configure, and then when you yeah. click on, on the user, that's uh, where the fun begins, um, because where mm -hmm. is the automatic replies? Uh, if you uh, have configured that a hundred times, of course you know where it is, but if you're looking at this interface for the first times, you are going to see, well, there are some top items here, hide mailbox, email forwarding, send on behalf, nah, general, general, it could be anything, and uh, you need to read everything on this page to figure out that it's not there, organization, ah, that's not likely, delegation, no, mailbox, it could be in here, you need to read everything in this interface to find out it's not here, and then finally you click on the others section and uh, huddle in here between custom attributes and convert to shared mailbox you'll find the manage automatic replies so the other uh, part of this interface it's like a big trash can where you have all kinds of uh, settings that that really have no internal relationship with each other but this mm. is where you find the automatic replies and uh, here you have the ability to enable or disable the automatic reply uh, but uh, if you compare it to Outlook, let's just uh, have a quick look at that one again, then you see there is actually a scheduling part in Outlook. Oh, but, yeah. but, but when you look at the, the Exchange Admin Center, there's no scheduling here. So the, the no. configuration here is, is scheduling unaware, and, and that kind of messes up uh, a little bit uh, what you see here. Because if the, if the user has an active schedule, um, let's say uh, the start date was uh, two days ago and the end date is uh, in, in three days, then the automatic replies is enabled and running. But if you go and look at the uh, Exchange Admin Center, then uh, it will be shown as automatic replies disabled. Anytime you have a schedule, oh, really? yeah, anytime you have a schedule on um, on an automatic reply, Exchange Admin Center is going to show it as disabled. So that's kind of confusing to uh, the help desk. Yeah, I could imagine that, yeah. 
so, so uh, but how how about easy easy drive manager how does uh, this tool solve the problem so in EC365 Manager, we have implemented it uh, as such. Uh, you, you know, when, when you install EC365 Manager, it's a snap-in to Active Directory users and computers, and it adds two new tabs. You have the Office 365 tab and you have the Mailbox tab. When you go to the Mailbox tab, that's obviously where you want to go to configure Mailbox settings. There you have uh, six different buttons. and. Um, Probably you can guess from the title which one to click, but if not, then you have some text on the left-hand side, and the first one reads, view and modify, forwarding, and automatic replies. So in our humble opinion, it's uh, really easy to find out where you need to go to configure this. And uh, we have looked uh, more to the Outlook implementation than to the Exchange Admin Center implementation. So that mm -hmm. means we have implemented complete support for the scheduling. So if the user has configured a schedule on their automatic uh, replies, you will see exactly what the schedule is here. You can modify it and or you can disable it if you want to do that. So that's um, just one of uh, the, the improvements that we made. Okay, uh, that, that's great. That's that's very nice and clean. So, so let's say if we have uh, like five users from the same department, they are going to a uh, a training in in uh, the other uh, opposite town, uh, in another town, um, and I would like to configure uh, out of office supplies for for all five members of that team at the same time. Is, is that possible? Yeah, I'm glad you asked because uh, that gives me an opportunity to uh, tell you that in uh, EC365 Manager we have support for multi-user editing, and uh, the support uh, includes almost all of the various uh, mailbox properties that you can find on uh, user accounts or mailboxes. So obviously the the alias, you're not going to be able to configure that because everybody needs a different alias. But looking yeah. at <laughs> looking at delivery options uh, and looking into the automatic replies, if you can accept that, uh, that the users uh, sent the same automatic replies, so it needs to be a generic one, of course, then you can actually set up uh, any kind of schedule that you want for multiple users. So let's say we want to start the automatic replies on Monday, 8 o'clock, and we want it to run until Wednesday, 8 p.m. And once you apply that, then it gets immediately applied to all five uh, users' uh, mailboxes. So if we go and look at uh, either of uh, random one of the uh, ones we configured, Go to the mailbox, look at uh, options. You'll see mm. that the schedule we just configured and the message that we configured is set up for the individual user. Uh, okay, that that's uh, nice and easy. Thanks. Okay, that that looks great. So so when is this uh, release going to to be public? Well, it's already out in uh, in um, a pre-release, and it's uh, going to go public in mid-December. We don't have the exact date, but it's uh, going to be within a week or so. So we're really looking forward uh, to that, and uh, we already got a uh, great feedback on this feature. Uh, a lot of our clients okay. requested it, and uh, pretty much all of our new features are request-driven. So uh, we have a great dialogue with our customers, and uh, we really appreciate that. All right, looking forward to, to getting that latest version of EC365 Manager. Great. Well, uh, thank you for your time, Morten. Welcome.